Occupy Wall Street. People doing their dances, playing the drums. It's a little bit intense over here. Find an answer to her shame. And in the middle of the night, she was asking. Now, and I meet a guy up there that's a broker on Wall Street, and he's saying, What do you guys want? You know? What do we want? You know, and how to frame it in a way that people will really get them in their heart and in their mind and in their broken down, left for dead, six feet down. I'm the only one that can help now. I know your doubt, I know your shame. I've seen you in your deepest pain. All you do, I think, is important. Is that we have something that I think everybody in the park agrees to. That's important to identify these things. What does everybody agree to? I, and, and I'm not 100% sure I'm right about this, but it appears to me that everybody agrees that income distribution is simply an unjust. I don't know that anybody disagrees with that. But what's interesting about that is that uh, you will find plenty of people that are very hostile to the Occupy movement that believe the same thing. So what else do we agree to? What else has captured our imagination that everybody has tapped in? You mentioned distribution of wealth. Are you looking for the government to mandate distribution of wealth or for a moral change in the hearts of the ones with all the wealth? I, I think if you ask a uh, hundred people in this park that question, you'll get a hundred different answers of how that's so good about it. Okay. And my, my own uh, perspective, I have to be honest, is capitalism itself is the problem. Uh, capitalism is genetically programmed to divide people along the lines of wealth and exploitation. I think that is, to me, that's the issue. But on the other hand, I think that this movement has to tap into something that, that in fact, people can agree to that are far beyond my perspective, but that, that can incorporate lots of other perspectives. So my own answer would be eliminate capitalism. And what would you say is the general consensus of the mass group of people here at Occupy Wall Street? General consensus, first of all, is diversity. It's the general consensus is it's general. It's it's me in a suit. It's him that's broke. It's this guy that's angry. It's this guy that's got nothing to do. There is no general consensus except to realize, hey, it's us. We are the consensus. And please forgive student loans because we have the most well-educated underclass in the world, and that's a sin. So, like, I guess I just came here to find out what was going on, and it doesn't feel like anyone has an idea like me, everyone. earlier. Do you know what I mean? Like, everyone has different stories, and everyone's saying different things, and they're saying that this works. But from my stance, not knowing a lot, like I just see chaos and I don't see that it's working. Here we are, Occupy Wall Street. It's uh, lots of different opinions that we got. Uh, some conflicting, some are in, in line with the others, but much different opinions. So we'll try to get a few more interviews and uh, let you decide. mentioned higher taxes on the rich, they scream class war, uh, they, should, uh, they should watch it, if they keep that up they might get a class war. Politicians, they should rely on their votes and the people, your vote, my vote, her vote. Not about how much money you have, not about how much money your corporation has that should influence policy or anything else. It should be a people, we the people. That's your God. Society that is raised from as soon as they're born, out of, coming out of the womb, and, and they enter they enter a mindset that you know that we're trying to break them away from. And, and in order to break them away from that, we really need to, I think, have some kind of um, point or some or something to that that will encompass what we are here for, so that they can they can begin to say, okay, I understand. Let's that. Get it.